a reading from the New Testament of as rendered by the Gullah people, my people of South Carolina. Um, right there, right there. You know, the Gullah Geechee, you know, the Geechee people, they're all, they're all over the place. You know, at least the southern you know, Georgia, the islands, down through whatever. Um, anyway, so we read, and what we do is we just go to any page. And this is, uh, go to 2 Corinthians, page uh, uh, 623, I guess. Now, see, this is a this is a, um, a translation or a trans whatever of the uh, trans something of the uh, old English. You know, this is the old English writing right there. That's like the Shakespeare Marlowe writing, and this is this is the Gullah right here of the New Testament of the Holy Bible. So we go to page uh, two sixty three. I don't like for some reason. I don't think the two sixty three is appropriate. Let me say the uh, two sixty. I mean six. 627 is where we're going to. And I'm going to do, um, I'm going to do 9 here. Uh, 2 Corinthians 10, this is 9. And what we do is we're reading this so that we, uh, well, let me read this first. I ain't on a, I ain't want on a for a thing that I done right on a them letter for me on a scared. And that translation for now is that I may not seem as if I would terrify you by letters. Oh, that's interesting. Uh, what I'm trying to do is um, I, I read every day. Oh, so, well, today is Saturday. I suppose we'll reveal the set. I'll tell you that in a second, or well, at least afterwards. But I read every day to um, uh, just to connect with my Gullah Geechee, you know, maternal side background just to I figured you know when they was newly freed from slavery then what they did was they learned they were literate pretty quick <laughs> so so uh, I just wanted to go through the experience so I've been doing this for for a while now and it's sort of it's difficult but not difficult sometimes getting used to it so I just see how far I, I'll, I'll go with this okay so usually read it twice let's read it twice again again this page uh, 627 2 Corinthians 10, and this is 9. I ain't wanna, I ain't want on a, for think that I did write on a, them letters for meek on a scared. And the translation, old English translation is, that I may not seem as if I would terrify you by letters. There you go. Um, so again, I I I, I do this uh, daily, except well, uh, not not on Sunday. Sundays we read from my book of scriptures, my modern book of scriptures, which is uh, Mr. Neely Fuller Jr.'s uh, uh, tome, uh, the compensatory concept. I I have a copy up here, luckily, like that. This is I'm at my uh, my uh, brother's house, my fraternity brother's house. Mm. Drinking some coconut water, so I parch through. So anyway, so um, uh, so usually I have a different set. Now I left everything down there. I left my glasses. I left my my nephew. I usually have over my right shoulder. Everything like that. So this is a new set. <laughs> new set. This is a living room. My brother. This um, uh, I think that's actually uh uh, Isi Kosa, Amakosa culture. Um, they look like Amakosa people. Anyway, he's a big time African Africana studies kind of guy. So he's got a lot of books and stuff like that. So. That's where we are right now. That's what it said. Be, um, I usually this is kente cloth that I got a long time ago. I forgot where I got it from. Um, uh, but there's all kinds of kente cloth. I just this color just sort of like I wear this hat like this is like an ecumenical. You know, I feel feel like it's ecumenical. But this is actually um, uh, this is green. You see, green on one side is like little little red, and they have black. Black is the other side, right? And so what I usually do, in fact, I should wear this today. I'm going to wear this on the, the dim, the, the, it's been done in for a while on this side. And I'll wear it like this. It's raining out today. I sometimes wear this like this. i done it again. I don't know. I forget. I'll do something else. Anyway, um, so this is the, the colors, um, uh, the, the, the black, the green, with a bit of red is the colors for the, uh, 
the Santeria or the uh, the Yoruba culture that came up uh, through Port, Port, uh, through Cuba through to North America. Now that same Yoruba culture uh, is 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 the co it's the colors for Ogun. Ogun is the is the Orisha you know selected head for uh, for actually war. And he's the one with the grass skirt and, and, and the and the, the technology the, the that mod technology of that day the machete. Um, but it, in 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 Europe, culture in in uh, in Nigeria, the color is blue. When it goes to Brazil, it changes in for Condon blade. The colors are, are blue and white. Then when it comes up through the Santeria, strain up to North America, it becomes red, black, and green, which is uh, well, black, uh, green, a little bit of red, which is kind of interesting because that's the colors of liberation. You know, Pan African color. You know, the Marcus Garvey kind of colors of liberation. It's fascinating to me. Anyway, so. Always in a mode of like, a, I want to say war, but doing stuff, right? Um, and then, of course, the the the, the, the color bottle. I got to get a, a, another copy. Um, this I got from uh, see. Well, I, I meant I, they mailed it to me, but it seemed like the um, see, it's the Sea Island Translation Team. Okay, uh, the White Cloth Bible Translators. Okay, American Bible Society came out two thousand five. That's interesting. The American Bible Society put this out, so I got a. I want to get another copy, so I'm gonna so I um, bring it down to South Africa with me. Um, even that cup copy is this this fun. I, I, I keep it well, and that's it. So 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 for the next few couple of weeks, I guess, or maybe even more, um, I'll be um, here. I'll be at this at this set. <laughs> okay, so bare minimum, no glass. I gotta really not suffer trying to read the stuff. But at least I got enough light. All right, okay. Take care. See you soon. Little well, message from me, T from the Pattersons, taking the train to Tibet, letting you know what I only suspect via the uh, the Gullah translation of the New Testament.